Hi, welcome to my studio. My name is Lydia. I'm going to help you tune your violin today. So if you find yourself in the position where over a break or in between lessons, your violin has gotten out of tune, I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Okay, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a tuner. Uh, I have my iPad, so I'm gonna be using that. You need a violin, obviously, and attention span. Um, so the first step here, we're just gonna figure out what um, what the damage is. Okay, so I've tuned intentionally my violin out of whack. So E string, A string, D and G. So it sounds pretty bad. So the first step, start with the A string. That's where we usually start. Okay, so I've got my um, app here, my ginormous iPad, but this is to help me hear the pitch. So the first step, we gotta figure out if it's sharp or flat. So hopefully you know that sharp means higher than the given pitch and flat means lower than the pitch. So the first step is to figure out if it's flat or sharp. So, da, 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 da. so you might notice da sounds lower than da. So now our job is to tune higher, okay? So, in order to do that, this is gonna require the pegs. If you have fine tuners, you can do that as well. But fine tuners is really just for what they mean with the word, which is fine tuning. So you're only supposed to use fine tuners if it's a really small or minute change, okay? So anchor your violin on your left knee if you can. You're gonna grab your violin with your left hand and you're gonna use that to pluck. So I'm just gonna set violin on my knee while I pluck. Then I'm gonna take my right hand in order to make a string higher or sharper than the pitch, we're gonna take our peg and turn it away from us, okay? Now, it might be a bit, um, let's just say it's jammed, okay? So if you have a situation where this is jammed, you're actually gonna do, you're actually gonna turn it down first to loosen it, and then you're gonna turn it again so you can get a good anchoring. Okay? Now, I'm going to do this like a novice, so let's just say I don't know how to tune. So it's way down there. We're going to apply the screw driving technique. So we pretend our hand is like a screwdriver. Peg is a screw. We have to drive it into the wall. So not just using this sort of rotational action, but also pushing into the wood as well. Okay. Perfect, awesome. Okay, now let's just say it's a little bit flat or sharp and you don't wanna use the pegs, but you don't have a fine tuner. There's a couple tricks you can do. One is just pulling the string. If it's too, um, if it's too sharp, take your string, and you're just gonna pull it a little bit. It should make the pitch go down. Conversely, if you want to make the pitch a wee bit higher, like it's what you do in orchestra if you're tuning and you ran out of time to tune and the conductor's starting. You can make these changes um, simply by tapping with your finger above the fingerboard, just like pressing on that a bit, okay? Sounds a little bit higher. Okay, so let's move on to the D string. So that, I know the pitch myself, but we're gonna test you. So we're gonna now change the pitch. You're gonna see a reflection, I apologize. So you're gonna see A here. Okay, we got to change that down to a D. Okay, so you should see D right there. See my lovely ring light in the background. Okay, so we've got D now. <laughs> okay. D, D. Sounds like a bad horror film. Okay, so now you should notice that this sounds higher than the pitch on the tuner. D, but we have to get it down. So this is the opposite. Instead of pulling the peg away from us, we are now gonna pull it towards us because it's too sharp. So instead of using my um, left hand to pluck, I'm gonna switch hands. So now I'm gonna put violin on my left knee, so I really got a good anchoring here. Then I'm gonna pluck with my right hand, okay? So I'm gonna, this so you see the side. Pluck, 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 pluck. And you're just going to keep 
clucking so you can really hear it. I'm going to put this on through here. Good. So now keep plucking and see if that's matched. I know not everyone has ear training, so that's why it's really helpful to use a tuner. Okay. That sounds really good. Let's move on to the G string. Okay, so also I'm gonna use my tuner again. I'm gonna set it to G. Now I'm gonna do an octave higher so that you can really see it. Hopefully you can hear that. Okay, so that's what a G should sound like. Now, because it's an octave higher, that might throw some of you and you might still not know what the pitch is. If that's the case, try and get it in the octave, meaning the same pitch level as the G string. So maybe I'll change it and see if you can hear it. So that's pretty low. You may or may not be able to hear that. Hopefully you can. Okay. G, Do, Ta. Sometimes singing helps, even if you have a bad singing voice. D, so that's a full whole step below the pitch that we need. So because it's a big adjustment, we're gonna use our pegs again to adjust it, okay? So we're gonna set the violin on our left knee again, take our left hand, take the peg, turn it away from us to make the string. Uh, also, side note, this makes sense um, from a aesthetic and functional standpoint, and that is, if we're pulling the string away from us, we are tightening the string, okay? So you imagine tightening something, you're tightening the string um, to make the pitch higher. Okay, so, so the low pitch, we're gonna use this, we're gonna use our screw driving technique, okay? I'm gonna test it now with my metronome, see if I'm right. That's awesome, perfect, okay. So now we have our three strings lower. By the way, we always tune the violin A, D, G, E. Okay, so we never really start from E. Always tune from concert A. And that's pretty standard across all instruments. Okay, E. Oh yeah, I forgot to make the E out of tune, so the E's there. I'm gonna use this though. I'm gonna tune the E out, okay? So I'm gonna turn it flat. So let's just say your E string is like that. Most all violins have a tuner for the E string. So you can see mine only has um, the E string here. But if we actually, um, I usually find that it's easiest to tune the violin when the E string with a fine tuner. Side note, if you find that your fine tuner here, if it's all the way to the fingerboard, it means that you've tuned your violin enough times, or whoever had it before you has tuned it enough times that the violin, the E string has gone flat. So now if it's, I'll show you what this sounds like. Okay, I'm just gonna screw it all the way down here. It's not the healthiest for the violin because it means the string is always tight. So for me, that's as far as I can go. For other violins, it might even go lower than that. Now listen to the pitch. Okay. So we don't want the string to be tightly wound as much. So in order to do that, we're just gonna loosen it, okay? So the same old um, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey applies to the violin playing as well. So here we go. We're gonna turn it to the left, okay? So my left, your right. Good. Now let's talk about what do you do if it is all the way down there and your, your, your E string is still really, really flat. Well, you're gonna use your violin peg E, your E string, and you're gonna turn it up like this. Okay, so that's just to help you have more um, space. So then I can take it again and turn it to the left. Okay, so if, see for me, that's still a bit too high, so I'm just gonna.
Good. So look, this is obviously not um, completely comprehensive and it's kind of a, this is not really in tune if you're being really picky, but it's close enough. So I hope that is helpful um, in tuning your violin. And yeah, <laughs> there's a motorbike outside. So there you go. End on a bang. All right. Cheers, everyone, and hope this is helpful.